What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is a 1969 Chevelle. This one here has a date code correct, 396, 402. Put the numbers come back as on the back of the block. It's got power steering, power brakes, aluminum radiator. Disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear, and dual exhaust out the back. This thing's got a beautiful paint job on it. So what we do in these videos is take them down the road, point out the flaws. I look for flaws so that when you get here, there's no surprises. We do this on every car on the lot, and we update maplemotors.com every week on Monday. We usually put about 10 cars on at 11, so be sure to check then because later on throughout the week, these cars sell and uh, I mark them sold. That's why you see sold on the website throughout the week. We only update one day. So go there, maplemotors.com. Look at our financing, shipping options, and detailed pictures. There's about 100 inside out and underneath of all the cars. As of right now, hit subscribe, share, hit like. Shut this hood down. About that time let's go for a ride before we take off we'll look around the interior and of course when we get back we'll do a detailed walk around point out anything on the paint job and the interior just kind of glancing around right now looking at the package tray you can see looks like they put some fabric up there and needs to be stretched out the headliner in the back it's got a spot over there in the corner you're missing your cover and it's got a rip up here as far as the dash goes there's a little crack over here coming across and place your bets do you think the horn works it's a game we like to play on the channel seems like about 50 percent of the horns don't work there's no radio in this one and the ashtray is missing uh blower motor let's try cutting on blower motor is working Wipers working. Can't tell if the dash lights are cutting on at the moment. We'll be checking the lights throughout the video. No original clock's not turning anymore either. Got a pretty good sound to it. Turn signal's popping up in the middle there on both sides. Now let's try the horn. Do you think the horn works? It does not. No honk on this one. Showing 47,000 miles. Hard to stand behind that for a 1969 model. And the gas gauge looks like it's working. If it's floating around while I'm driving, odds are it is working. For now, let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives. I need to tighten up my mirror there. Anything I see, I will let you know. That is exactly why I do these videos. So uh, we don't have a temperature gauge in this one, an aftermarket one at least. It does have the original light that pops up. Um, so we're just gonna be taking it down the road, checking everything else out, and we'll see how it goes. This is the first time I've driven this ride. This pretty much any of these videos that I do, it is the first time I've opted them and taken off. I like learning about the cars with you rather than learning before. Suspension's really smooth on this one. 
There's a few bumps and stuff over this bridge that we hit. What we're gonna do now is uh, pull up in this parking lot and I'll try to get some undercarriage shots. I'm gonna put a camera on the ground, light the undercarriage up, put it in slow motion. We're gonna check the front turn signals, the rear turn signals, and uh, to get some cool outside shots of this car. We're gonna pass by, get on it, kick the tires a little bit, and have some fun. Look below in the description, go to Amazon. You can see all the links that I have below for all the gear that I use in this video. And we also got some merchandise, t-shirts, Maple Motors gear, pick you up some. Be right back. So once I get back to the lot, I'm gonna be uh, doing the walk around. I did the walk around over here, but of course, throughout the video, that's how it's set up. So once I get back, you're gonna see the walk around of uh, all the chip scratches, flaws, anything that I can find. Let's go ahead and head back now. This car's pretty peppy. I didn't expect it to uh, kick out like that. I thought for sure it would stick, but I guess it is a little bit wet out here. The idle is a bit low. I think it just needs to be bumped up a hair. Just got 
plenty of power, nice and smooth. So far, it's just cosmetic stuff that this car needs. Because motor, tranny, steering, brakes, all that seem to be really good. Suspension's nice and smooth. It's just, uh, it's just ready to be driven. Great sound. I haven't tried to manually shift it. Let's see if they're there. Doesn't feel like they're there, so. That's why the kick down's hooked up, I guess. Right around the corner from the car lot, we're gonna stop down at Brian's Motorsports. See what he's got going on today. So guys, Brian's Motorsports is the place that I take all of my rides to get, well, I see. To get checked on, I need to go ahead and turn that idle up just a hair. So if you let out after getting on it like that, it will do that with idle down. There we go. That's why I don't like it so low. But we're coming through here. And what I was saying is check out Brian'sMotorsports.com. He customizes cars all day, every day. He does interior, stereo systems, uh, a little bit of motor work i believe not nothing crazy he definitely does suspension that's one of his main things and wheels and tires a lot of people buy cars from us and then they'll take them down here and get wheels and tires put on them and like this escalade he just put a set of forgiatos on he's a forgiato dealer he probably put the lift and everything on that truck i wouldn't doubt it and that's the kind of stuff that was he was taking to sema last year so check him out BMS on YouTube or just Brian'sMotorsports.com. We're gonna head on back to the lot. It's literally walking distance from the car lot. That's why I turned in right here. Plus, I wanted to show you. You know, there's all kinds of businesses down through here. If you come in, you don't have to just see us. You could stop and have lunch at the Red Rooster or grab a beer at Main Street Pub or pick you up a gun at the pawn shop. Okay, so we are pulling back up to the lot, getting ready to do the walk around video. Looks like a customer had a Impala sitting there. Two Impalas. It's like 95, 94 to 96 Impala there. And they're getting themselves some lunch. Most of the time that's what they do. They either do, do that and then come up to Maple Motors or vice versa. All right. Well, I'm gonna pull back in here and get this thing wiped back off. Get her in a parking spot, take some pictures and uh, post her online. Also need to do another test drive, so stick around. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys. Okay, let's walk around this ride. We're gonna be pointing out chips, scratches, flaws, anything I can find, any kind of rust, Bondo, uh, issues with the trim. It'll all be here in the video. Also check out maplemotors.com for those detailed pictures. And uh, of course, all of our inventory is updated every day. So coming around the front here, you can see the front bumper does have some pitting on it. It's not in perfect shape. Light little scuffs and scratches. Looking around in the grill. Got some blemishes right here on the front, right above the uh, headlights. You got some orange peel popping up here. 
right on the front too. Going real slow so you can see. Also some right there. Across the nose here. A few little dimples there as well in the paint. A scuff there that can come out with some wax. Let's go down this lower portion on the driver's side and uh, come back to midsection. You got a little paint on your chrome there. Coming up over the trim. Got a few little spots right here that have been touched up right there on the edge of the fender. Doors hanging a little bit. Coming up over, scuff mark right there. You've got some bubbles popping up right here above your trim. You also got some bubbles back here. Lower portion seems to be pretty solid. Uh, there's a little bubble there in the back, but still pretty solid. Some paint overspray and pitting on your rear bumper. Coming back this midsection, stripe looks good. Edge of the door is nice and clean. You do got some pitting on your door handle. Not too bad. Cover this top section here. A little bit of orange peel right here in the fender probably hard to see on camera but it is there trim piece missing here the pillar there has got some orange pill on it too mirror has been replaced seal on the window looks pretty good A little bit wavy in this area here. Back window on this one, trim. All looks pretty good. Nice and clean. See where some work's been done right there on the edge. Your window here, seal's gone, needs to be replaced. Same with your weather stripping. The weather stripping up in the edge. Same thing, crumbling. Little spot there in the pillar, spot up in here in the jam. And over the roof, it's not too bad. Front windshield, pretty good. Okay. Coming around to the back here. Dual exhaust out the back. Trim around your tail lights are new, and the lights are new. Your back bumper here has got some flaws, a little bit of pitting popping up here and there. on the edge of the bumper there coming up into the trunk looks like a new seal but there's still moisture in the trunk it did rain like crazy last night and of course these cars sit right there in front of the lot so you got some drips you got some moisture that's probably your back window seal not making a great seal and leaking as far as the trunk goes it's looking solid you can definitely tell it's been spattered but I'm not seeing, you know, a whole bunch of rust holes or rust marks. I mean, it actually looks pretty good. Your 
panel there, not bad. Up in your package tray, looks pretty good. Okay. Around your trunk lid itself, edges are solid. Going on down with this, uh, keys are in the ignition. Comes down real easy and locks. Some wax down there. This side's a little bit close on the trunk line. Let's go down this lower portion, back to midsection. Up and over the trim. Got some paint imperfections there where it's been touched up, sprayed over. Also right here, you got a nice little chip starting to bare metal and starting to rust. Picked up some dirt, didn't I? I just washed this car before. That's what I get when it's wet outside. At least it's not raining. Let me make sure we get these videos out. A little bit of a scuff mark there. It should buff out. Back to midsection. Little mark there. Got a little spot here. On the edge of your door. The mirror on this one is new. Little chip here in the middle of the door. Door handle there has got some scuffs on the edges. Up here in the corner. Coming on back, you got a line right here. It's like your window seals are going to have to be changed out on this side too, all the way around. They're brittle. Right here looks pretty good. Put a new seal on the outside of the window. Missing a trim piece just like the driver's side. Spot there. Get over the front windshield. The trim looks good. Windshield looks good. Pillar's got some overspray on it. Little spot here. The roof here kind of looks like they've set a box up here. At one point, it caused some light dents. It is up here. I don't think you're going to be able to see it on the camera. Maybe if I hit it right with the reflection, you'll be able to see it. But it's in a big area there. Probably right here in the middle. In this area here. It's just kind of a little wavy let's just say that that's exactly what it is it's a little wavy right in the middle of the roof nothing terrible you really got to look for it but it is there up here you've got some flaws that are popping up in the jam you also got some right around this edge here got some overspray on your trim only on this side i wonder if that was just in the wrong area when they had it off the back window's got a little bit of overspray on it too scratching it off all right made it all the way around the car let's go ahead and check the interior out get her started up it's 
So as we open the door here, the door panel is faded and it's got some beat up spots. You can see on top a little bit faded here. Edge of the door, people usually kick that right there to open the door. It's not on purpose a lot of times, it's just a habit. Uh, weather stripping looks pretty good around it. Looking at the bottom of the door here. In, them, in your jams. Carpet in this one is a bit older. It still looks okay. gap here for the carpet looking at your seat before you get in it looks great they've got i think this little piece here is probably getting loose on them and they have it zip tied back so that may need some adjustments to start working properly right here on your panel it's kind of got some tears people getting in and out you see on that edge there Back seat, a little wrinkly on the very back portion. Your headliner there has got some issues too, needs to be resolved. Same with your package tray over in the corner. I think that could be just straightened out. Cut around on the ceiling here, covers missing. And there's a big old rip right in the middle. Jumping in. Passenger door panel is the same way as the driver. Across the dash, of course you're missing radio, uh, ashtray. And you do have some cracks in the dash. Start her up. That was without giving it gas. I think I might have to give it a little gas. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little gas now. She's idled down pretty low too. Sounds great though. This one's pretty quiet. You'd think the horn would work. Looks like brand new ones and they're hooked up. I may have to look up under the dash and make sure I didn't miss nothing. Shut the hood down here. Comes down. Shake it a little bit. That first initial pass there is good though because you don't want it falling down on your head. I've had that happen quite a bit. Probably what's wrong with me. <laughs> Coming across the hood here. Sitting a little high at first. Push her down. Same with this side, hinges a little stiff. 
holding the hood up like that. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. That helps me out more than anything, and I do appreciate it in advance. Also, I'm selling some t-shirts online here. We got Maple Motors gear. Go check that out if you want to pick up some Maple Motors attire. I'm getting ready to do a retrofit. Um, we're talking with the girl. I've got some old t-shirt designs that are from like the late 80s that Maple Motors used to have, and I kind of want to redesign them and put them back out. I mean, it looks... It looks 90s, 80s. It's cool looking. Um, so be looking for that to pop up here on the channel. Or you can go to maplemotors.com, look under merchandise. You can also check out those detailed pictures, finance options, shipping options, and every Monday I update with new inventory. With that being said, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to go back to the lot and try to uh, make some more of these videos for y'all to watch. I'll see you later, guys. Hey, be sure to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. I've been posting videos to that all the time and I try to get different ones. So go check it out. I'll see you later.